Told you there was some breaking news. This has just come down in the last 20 minutes or so. This is going to take the woke battleground to a totally different level. And I'm reading from right now the New York Post. Uh, the Walt Disney Company on Wednesday escalated its battle against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis by suing the Republican lawmaker in federal court over the elimination of its special tax district. Uh, Disney accuses DeSantis. Well, let me like click now, literally, as I'm speaking to you, the Wall Street Journal has written about it. They may have a little bit more detail. Uh, but Disney is declaring um, that Mr. Uh, I'm reading from the Wall Street Journal now accuses DeSantis of conducting, quote, a targeted campaign of government retaliation as punishment for the company's decision to speak out against the law passed last year. Uh, the Central Florida... Remember, this goes directly, Buck, to the battle over how much autonomy Disney is going to have from a zoning perspective as it pertains to the Walt Disney World property. So for those of you who have ever been to Walt Disney World before in Florida... Tens of thousands of acres. Back in the 1960s, the state of Florida gave effectively Disney autonomy over almost every zoning and land use designation on that property, which is actually rare. And so in response to the Disney battle, Disney weighed in on the, 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 the kindergarten. The, the, the Reedy three. Creek yes, Improvement Reedy Creek. District. Correct. Um, and then Disney said, uh, Disney fired in responding to that bill, which remember was labeled don't say gay, but essentially said kindergarten, first, second, and third graders shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be taught sexual related topics. And as actually, as we've talked about on this program, wildly popular with parents everywhere, because most parents sit around and say, yeah, you know, that kind of seems appropriate, including Even Democrats, Democrats in the state of Florida, everybody. And so Disney then, uh, so DeSantis took back their control over that their autonomy. Disney then tried to pass a bill right beforehand that kept the state of Florida from taking that authority back. Now DeSantis has come back and said, actually, we're going to take the authority back. And this is going to be a real battle over who has authority in the state of Florida. But what I would say in general, Buck, is Bob Iger came in as Disney CEO, replacing uh, the Bob Chapek, who had been fired, and said, hey, we're going to try to get along with Disney, we're, uh, with, with Florida. We're not going to try to be political. And now they're directly wading into politics. It's going to be DeSantis versus Disney. And I would just point out, Buck, and this is important, and then we'll take some of your calls, uh, because DeSantis versus Trump is what we've been talking about. I would just point out, Buck, that initially the relationship between Disney and Ron DeSantis was fantastic because unlike California Governor Gavin Newsom, who kept Disneyland closed for, I believe, a full year longer than Disney World was open, if you remember how absurd the world was at that point in time, you could fly from California and go to Disney World but you couldn't get in your car in L.A. and drive to Disneyland. And now this is accelerated to a pretty significant degree. And I'll just add one more thing, Buck. Trump has weighed in on the side of Disney in some of his truth social posts. So this is all going to be, I think, a pretty crazy battleground before all is said and done.